We know with certainty that fossil fuels need to be phased out. It could have been done slowly, but now we are running against time. So we have a very complicated relationship with fossil fuels at the moment. It's like your ex-partner, you want to get rid of them, but they stick around. While the need to get off fossil fuels is straightforward and urgent, the pathway to doing it equitably is anything but. What are the viable pathways to a clean and safe future? And how do we collectively navigate this transition? We know that credible people disagree in some pretty fundamental ways on this topic, the core of the climate challenge. Recently, we brought together experts, activists, and leading voices in the climate space to speak, listen, and work together as we figure out how to make progress despite our differences. We cannot emit more than 500 gigatons of CO2 between 2020 and 2050. The fossil fuel industry itself is also a powerhouse of fairy tales. We often speak with the acceptance of this tautology that no country has ever developed without the use of fossil fuels. But that's not the whole truth, right? The whole truth is that no country has developed without the use of fossil fuels yet. So how can the US and Europe be smarter about ending energy poverty and addressing climate change? If local enterprise had access to long-term, low-cost financing, like their counterparts in other regions of the world can simply take for granted, then Africa's clean energy future would build itself. What we don't want to lose is that ultimately there are people at the heart of systems. And systems change will sometimes fail just because two folks cannot get along with each other. We need people to get on board in our fight for climate justice. And this means getting people on board that have never spoken to each other before and that have always disagreed. What would we do now if we believed we'd succeed? Nelson Mandela famously said, it always seems impossible until it is done. And I love that phrase. <laughs>